Hello, and welcome to a special report from the Cosmic Companion for October 1st, 2020. Astronomers at the Very Large Telescope recently found six galaxies orbiting a black hole in the ancient universe. The galaxies orbiting the supermassive black hole are seen as they appeared when the universe was just 900 million years old. This collection of galaxies centered around a massive quasar is the oldest, tightest galactic cluster ever seen orbiting such an object. These behemoth supermassive black holes are found near the center of every galaxy, including the Milky Way. And those galaxies containing extremely energetic black holes can sometimes come alight as quasars. This new study reveals the behemoth black hole near the center of the cluster is 250 times more massive than the supermassive black hole near the center of the Milky Way. Encompassing this system, a vast spider web of gas and dust 300 times the size of the Milky Way stretches across space like a spider's web. Galaxies grow where the filaments cross as streams of gas flowing along filaments feed both galaxies as well as the central supermassive black hole within the quasar. The first black holes in the universe likely formed from the collapse of the earliest stars. However, the question became, how could these black holes holes grow in size from a few dozen or a couple of hundred solar masses to a billion times the mass of our sun in only a few hundred million years. This new finding suggests the transfer of material along gaseous filaments could supply enough material to grow these enormous bodies in a cosmologically short period of time. Through other similar structures, the largest black holes could quickly form within clouds of gas and dust feeding the ravenous void, researchers speculate. The next question one might, nay, should ask is, how did the filaments form? Uh, the gravitational influence of dark matter has pulled on so-called ordinary matter since soon after the Big Bang. Researchers believe this influence is what first pulled matter into the filaments seen in this recent finding, providing the black hole with a feast of gas and dust. These galaxies are among the faintest that can be seen by our current generation of telescopes. The extremely large telescope being developed as part of the European Southern Observatory will be capable of seeing fainter, more distant galaxies in the ancient universe. On October 20th, we will talk with Dr. Roberto Gili uh, from the National Institute for Astronomy and Astrophysics in Italy, a leader on this recent discovery. And don't forget to join us this Tuesday, October 6th, for a special global interview with Dr. Amanda Caracas of Monash University joining us from Melbourne, Australia, and Dr. Shiaki Kobayashi of the University of Hertfordshire, speaking from London, England. They will be discussing their recent work showing how much of the gold in the universe formed. Next week, 
on October 13th, we will talk to Dr. Masik Vayokas, astronomer at Harvard University, who recently found a glitter around the galactic black hole in the galaxy M87. If you enjoy The Cosmic Companion, please subscribe, follow, and share this episode on YouTube, Facebook video, or on any major podcast provider. Remember, if you've not already done so and you are in the United States, please remember to vote in the upcoming election November 3rd. Till then, Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep your wonder alive. For more details on space and astronomy news, please visit thecosmiccompanion.com or thecosmiccompanion.net. Hmm.